We got Josh and Oda from SNK here to give you guys there is something. A little something let's special. Go. So let's go with her because they bring some news. Uh, SNK no producer Oda this. All right, it's been a while, everybody. We so Oda is on producer stage. Producer at SNK and Josh Weatherford, assistant producer on KOF 15. So we know everybody's still hyped from those awesome uh, fights that we just saw, but we have a few announcements we want to roll here. So we'll go ahead and roll the trailer, please. Hey guys, hold on a second. Just kidding. I'm just kidding. I have no idea what's going to be here. Oh. Oh, sh Oh, sh Let's go. You, let's go. Oh, this is sick. Ah! Oh, 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 fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. It looks good. Oh, fuck. Oh f it looks it looks pretty sick actually. City of the Wolves, that's such a cool name! That's such a cool name! Oh my god! City of the Wolves? Ah oh, shit! That's such a cool Show us more, please. Furiously in development. Ah man. It's been furiously developed for so long. Oh, I wanted to see gameplay. Oh, man. That looked not bad. That looked like a proper upgrade artistically. Um, yeah, they, they showed like a couple of attacks, but it, I, I do love the fact that it's like all about the city, you know? That going all the different parts of the city that the characters are from and shit. I'm like, this is cool. As soon as you hear Raging Storm, I'm like, oh, okay, so it's it's rock. Yeah, man, imagine if there's like a World Tour Southtown kind of game, right? Imagine if, if like they have like a World Tour style mode where you fuck around in Southtown. That sounds like very comparable, obviously, to like Metro City stuff. We're yeah, it seems here. like a hint to it, right? That's what I'm, that's what you get out of the hint of like the city map and all that kind of shit. We have no idea, right? If they're gonna if they're gonna go full ham on making this an actual full game and not just an arcade game, which most SNK games unfortunately have been, that would be dope, right? Interactive Southtown. However, that's kind of outside of what their scope of their games normally is. You know, that that's some hopeful thinking. That's some hopeful thinking that they would do that shit. Wait, let's go back, right? Maybe they have a, uh, a trailer up on YouTube. Hold on a second. They don't! Here, here's High Fight. Let's take a look. Damn, boy! God damn! All right. So... It, it, it has an art style, right? It, it, I mean, of course, like character design wise, it looks pretty similar to KOF 15. And we already, I think we kind of knew that would be the case, right? That it was going to share some assets with KOF 15. It does not look like Samurai Showdown. And I swear, like, this is, this is very similar to Rock's KOF 15, uh, Raging Storm animation, right? Pretty similar. But Jesus, dude. I'm, I think the cell shading, the cell shading look kind of does a lot. It kind of, you know what? I think that's a, that's a good observation. It kind of looks like Marvel 3. It looks a lot like MVC3 style um, comic book cell shading. Uh, I hope that, I hope they put up a 4K trailer on YouTube. I really do. Later. 4K version of the trailer. Let's see if we can pick up any sweet deets out of this. So that's him, what, potentially murdering geese in Geese Tower? Man, are they gonna put, are they gonna put geese in a modern Fatal Fury? Maybe. I mean, maybe, that'd be, ooh, that'd be fucking cool. But I think, uh, wait a minute, fictional-wise, geese is dead in Fatal Fury, right? That's a bit different. Geese is revived? Yeah, he's dead already, so... Uh, this isn't, this isn't KOF, this is like individual fucking 
you know, Fatal Fury, and I don't, I'm not super familiar with it, but that's the whole point of Fatal Fury. Like the, the story moves forward in Fatal Fury because Geese dies, right? He could be a zombie. So wait a minute. Can we pick up on every single one of these characters? Can we pick up on everybody here? Rock, obviously. Who is that? That, that's my, yeah, is that my and Andy? That makes sense that they're together. Bingo Hoya? Uh, Joe? That's Billy. Thank you. Abandoned Dojo. Mr. Karate or some shit? No, it's, is that Rio? Mr. Karate was at the abandoned factory? Maybe Kushnod butt? Wait a minute. Oh, and there was also a female, a female voice. Oh, wait a minute. Ryo and Yuri? That might be Ryo and Yuri. Shokokin. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna call it that's maybe uh, Ryo and Yuri? Hotaru? Ah, uh, possibly. I don't know. They're trying to keep it mysterious. Marco and Hotaru? Potentially? That's true? I'm trying to remember back to, like, Gauro characters. <laughs> Live house old line? Yeah, is that Tizok? Is it, it's gonna, is it gonna be Tizok or is it gonna be Dinosaur? Hmm. <laughs> so Terry and who's before that? Is it Terry as well? Maybe Kane? It's the sound of them fighting each other, right? I think that's Kane? Yeah, maybe. Maybe if they put Kane in like the main roster. Okay. All right. I'm trying to remember, it's I, I get really confused which characters are specifically Fatal Fury characters and, you know, KOF characters and stuff like that. So it's like, huh. Rock, Andy, Mai, Jenny, Joe, Billy, Marco, Otaro, uh, Gato, Tizok, Kane, Terry. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. That seems pretty good. Oh, fuck. This is looking... Oh, I'm loving it. Oh, oh, I'm loving it. I love it. I like it. You got me. Uh, you got me. I'm, I'm down. Yeah, th so the character models are 100% looking like... KOF 14 character models. However, the art style looks like an almost like an upgrade of um of like Marvel 3. All this cross hatching and shit, all these like highlights and then really really dark like black shadows. Ooh, okay. Definitely some vibes of like classic Shinkiro art in Marvel 3. Animations look like they're being carried over from KOF 15, but fuck, dude. Yeah, I'm slowing all of this down. Yeah, my, my, my first impression is I dig the art style. I actually like it. Damn, dude! Oh, Terry looks fucking cool. The, the effects animations are still kind of KOF 15-ish, right? I think this looks good. I think this is... My first impression is that of all the modern SNK games, my first impression is that I think this is the best looking one, right? I think this is the best looking one. We might have to compare some stuff later on. Yeah, this just looks very similar to KOF 15 right here. The effects are different. I do like it. I think it looks good. Yeah, and this is this is obviously with it unpolished. This is obviously unpolished, but I like it, right? I like it. I, I'm, I'm gonna say my first impression of the art style of Galro, or I'm sorry, of Fatal Fury. And here's the thing, right? We, we said this like a year ago. So many memories of what people have about Galro are from its art style, right? Uh, people, what, what people like about Fatal Fury and where, it, where, it, where we last saw it was because Galro was super pushing what that hardware could do, right? And they were competing with the levels of what Capcom. So we're all saying, what is one of the most important things about a new Fatal Fury or Galro game? It's gonna be visuals, man. 
They have to get something that feels like it's an update of visuals because that is what everyone fucking universally loves about Garo. It's beautiful. It's like, holy shit, man. It's like the one the one SNK game that really like, in terms of like animation quality, trying to like really step up and do some crazy shit. So they needed to, they needed to do something with that. Like they really needed to, to match that level of expectation. I don't feel like this is light years ahead of Sam Show and light years ahead of KOF 15. I don't feel like it's that good, but I do feel like it looks, it looks better. I, this, this is, this is not like a stagnant, like, oh, we're sort of hanging around here, art style for some other games, like, you know, uh, Gal Fighters, whatever the heck it was called. And, uh, you know, KOF 14 is like down here, right? And then, and then Sam Show was like, oh, this is, this is better looking. But KOF 15 remained at a visual level that was kind of like a bit above, right? Just, just a bit above. It's, it was fine. Yeah, those were fine. While the other ones look kind of rough. This one I feel like is another step up above KOF 15 and Sam Show. At least right now, it feels like it feels like it's another notch up, which is good. It isn't whoa, like God damn, like like the huge jump in quality that felt like you know Galro was to Fatal Fury back in the day. Uh, not not that right. I'm giving SNK credit here. I think this looks good. I I, I think artistically they're they're hitting something that I really like. Look at this shot, bro. Just look at this. Look at all the fucking motion in this shot. Look at this shit. Look at this shit, man. I like it. I fucking like it. I like it. You know what? I I, I do not want another SN game, SNK game. I'm going to say this right now. Criticism. I do not want another SNK game to look as hyper saturated as KOF 15. I like saturated poppy colors in games for sure. But when everything looks that way, including the effects, including the backgrounds, including the main characters, no. No, no, no. When, when that happens, everything just sort of like bl blurs into each other. So, and that that can be sort of like a visual, like 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 a, a visual death sentence sometimes when a lot of shit happens. Even in KOF 15, it's like, whoa, there's a whole bunch of what the fuck. Like it, it starts to look washed out. Um, I I think that there's just a bit too many like super bright colors all the time in KOF 15, and that's one thing I hope that they they find a nice balance here because right now it's a little heavy on the saturation still, right? Tekken 8 has that problem at the moment, yes, where some of its effects are way too saturated and some of the characters in some stages aren't. So the effects are just like, like all over the place, but the, the characters don't pop in ways that they should. Granted, all game, all these games are in development still, so they're still figuring that shit out. I think what they got right now is obviously a style thing that we're criticizing, and I think it looks good. So I'm down with it. I just don't want that crazy saturation shit. You know what was the perfect mix of like art style and 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 not crazy on the visual saturation? It was Sam Show. Sam Show did a pretty good job with that. Sam Show's like readability and colors, I thought looked good. It looked obviously a bit more cartoony, but I think Sam Show hit like a pretty good baseline, right? I think they did a I think they did a fairly good job on Samurai Showdown's visuals. Were they like a, a leaps better? No, 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 no. But it, it and it's kind of it, it is kind of a little bit. It's not perfect. It's messy in some places because of the cross stitching and all that painterly stuff. But I think overall, like the visual, the the visuals of all SNK games, recent SNK games that are of the 3D era now, uh, I think Sam Show still looks the best. Right? Not a ton better than 15. Not an absolute ton. But I still think it it has the best like visual look of all the the modern SNK games. So anyway, if there's one thing that I think everybody was going to be really critical about with Gaura was going to be its art style and visuals, and clearly it's early. Now I'm not really concerned about it, man. Now I ain't really concerned. Now my biggest concern is that is Rock going to be trash? <laughs> and I don't think he will be. I, I I've talked to I've talked to the SNK devs enough over the years, and they know. They they've they straight apologized to me when Rock came out in like KOF KOF 14, dude. They're like, we're we're sorry about all those older games. <laughs> like, he has to be trash. Uh, and then he came out super good in 15, and now he's still really good even though he got nerfed. I'm, now I'm not worried about that. I think this game looks good. I think it's going to be fun. Which ways can which ways can we upset Max? And I think Rock will probably be an actual like proper kitted character with good tools. My big concern, after all that stuff has been alleviated, after looking at this, is probably going to be like just gameplay. So how are 
how are our just defense going to work, right? How are the mechanics? Is there going to be a top system? How is all that shit going to complement itself? What kind of what kind of stuff are we taking from the last Fatal Fury game, from what modern SNK games do? And then obviously big things like online and matchmaking. You know, clearly that's a big deal. Now that we know it looks good, I'm kind of disappointed they didn't show, like, show us something. Just show us, like, we get their supers, but, like, show us how the fuck the game works. Now I really want to know. I'm excited, man. I'm excited.